tutoring the child. Dialogue 1 When do you take your finals? Is it two weeks before it? Did you revise the lessons before class? Not yet. Pick up your pace. It's getting late. I see, Mom. I'm just going to. Shall we go over your English exercises together? I can do it alone. You have been working for a whole day. Just go to sleep early. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. All right, then. Where is your exercise book? I cannot find it in your school bag. I have taken it out and put it onto the table. Dialogue 2 How did you do on your math examination? What a shame! I failed in this examination. What are the reasons? That exam was not very hard. As a matter of fact, I have no interest in math. Interest is the best teacher. I believe that it is most important to develop your interest. That's how I feel as well, but I can't work up any interest in it. Do you think you need to join a remedial class? Well, there is no other way. Your midterm exams are almost here. I decide to help you from this evening. What do you think of it? Thanks, Mom. You are really a great mom. Time for bed. Dialogue 1. Did you finish your homework? I have just finished and I want to watch more TV. You have to get up early tomorrow. Hurry up and go to sleep. Okay. Are you ready for tomorrow? Sorry, I'm going to make it up. Have you set up the alarm clock? Yes, I set the alarm for 7 o'clock just now. Make sure you brush your teeth. Brushing them regularly helps to ward off tooth decay. You have said for the tenth time. I won't forget it. Sweet dreams. Thanks, and you too. Dialogue 2 What are you doing, Jack? I'm playing video games. Enough with your video games. It's time to go to bed. No need to go to sleep. It's still early. We'll give you a few minutes to play through. How about ten minutes? You have to get up early tomorrow morning, and you'd better turn in early tonight and get a good night's rest. I see. Okay. It's so hot. Would you like to take a bath? Sounds good. Could you run me a hot bath? Ugh. I am running the bath water. Thanks, Dad. Domestic Expenses Dialogue 1 How much money did we spend last month? No idea, but I keep a record of our costs. What about the living expenses? I have never counted them. Won't you let me have a look? Oh, we barely made both ends meet last month. Yes, our expenses are mounting up. You know, the cost of everything is rising. Take a squint at this. They are rarely needed. Yes, you are right. But I thought they're necessary at that time. We need to keep our spending in check. Well, I remember that. We should organize our spending so that we don't live beyond our means. I promise. I will keep a tight rein on expenditure from now on. Dialogue 2 Yesterday I got the gas and water bills. How much is this going to cost? About $300. By what date do we have to pay? This Saturday. I have to drop by the bank to get some money. How much money are you going to draw from the bank? $400. Could you get more money? I have no cash on hand. I'd like to buy our kids' clothes at a second-hand store. All right. I'll go with you. Family Pet Dialogue 1 Son, what do you want for your birthday gift? I'd like to keep a pet. What pet would you like to keep? Guinea pig, parrot, rabbit, tortoise, 
dog or? Can I have a Siberian husky? Okay. The husky is unequaled for stamina and endurance. I want to buy a little puppy. I promise you, you'll like it when you see. Dialogue 2 Which of you is going to walk the dog? It's Mary's turn to take the dog for a walk. Okay, Mary, please. Oh, by the way, when was the last time you cleaned out the dog kennel? It smells to high heaven. The exact date has escaped me. Half month ago, maybe? It needs to be well swept out. Hand it over to me. And the dog needs a bath. Carl, run the bath for the dog while Mary walks it. Okay. I'll get ready to go and shampoo him later. Shampooing them too often is not a good idea, as shampoo tends to strip the natural oils out of their coats. Then just bath the dog with clean water. Weekend Plan Dialogue 1 Hey, what shall we do at the weekend? I've no idea about that. What about go skiing? Last Saturday, my colleague went skiing at Holmenkollen, located in Oslo. This is the most famous ski jump in Norway, which is also the biggest in the world. Fantastic! How was that? Really good. They strongly recommend that we should try it sometime. This weekend I'd like to go skiing there. But I'd like to stay at home and keep my grandmother company. I'll go and talk about it to her. Maybe she likes to go with us together. A family trip sounds very good. Dialogue 2 What are your plans for the weekend? I have to work overtime this weekend. What about you, John? This weekend with Lucy, where should I take her? How about going to the cinema? I went to the cinema with her last weekend. Does she like to go shopping? Girls in general like to shop for new clothes. Yes, she spends much of her spare time roaming about the streets. Why not go shopping with her? Well, I think it will have to do. Where are some good places for shopping? You should do some shopping in Wang Fujing Street and Shidan Street. Receiving Guests Dialogue 1 Who is it? It's me, Mary. Could you buzz me in? Sure. Come right in. Wow. Beautiful home you have here. Thank you. How nice of you come with us. Let me have your coat. Okay. Let me take off my shoes first. Would you please leave your bag here? Oh, yeah. Please have your seat. Shall I get a drink for you? Yes, a cup of tea, please. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Thanks. Dialogue 2 Hey, Jack. Hey, Mary. I'm glad you could come. Come on, please. We are all waiting for you. Is everybody here? Tom's on his way and will be here in a moment. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay, suppose we wait a while. Can I watch the news on television? Of course. Will you have a drink? I'd like a glass of water, please. There are some fruits and nuts on the table. Do you like eating mango? A nice fresh mango is my favorite fruit. Then have one. Please feel free to make yourself at home. 